What about that? So this just, okay. I'm going to tell you what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. The charges are the same. There's still an oxygen and there's still two bonds. Yeah. But right here, is there a carbon at the end of this? There is. Okay. So then there'd be, like right here, there's also a carbon at the end of this Yes. One? Okay. Um... And if it makes hydrogen? it easier, yes, there's two okay. hydrogens. Okay, that's not like there's no charge yeah. amount for that reason. And okay. perfect. There, there is a carbon here. There are two hydrogens here to complete that octet. Okay. Then if we went back to the carbanion, mm -hmm. since it's a negative charge, mm -hmm. I know that there's three bonds and a lone pair at this end. So I know that this had to have already one bond. There's mm -hmm. another bond with hydrogen, a hydrogen, and then we don't really worry about the lone pair here, but it's just seeing we have two hydrogens here, mm -hmm. two hydrogens there. Okay, those didn't move. So far, so good. Yeah, yeah. So what are you thinking? Keep going with that thought. Um, honestly, I, I mean, I guess I'd have to count these ones because this one looks like there's a complete octet on all of these ones. Let's do it. So right? let's, let's okay. see what else is here. So how many hydrogens are at this carbon? So it has to be one carbon with two hydrogen, right? Because it'd be... One, one. So there, right? there is, there is one. Yeah, there, there is one hydrogen. Okay. Oh, one. So just one because this carbon has a double bond, uh -huh. a single bond that makes three bonds, uh -huh. and then I, it needs one more to complete its octet for okay. four bonds. And then the same thing goes for this one. Again, this is a double bond, single bond that already has three bonds. Mm -hmm. It needs one more. Oh, I see what you're saying. That's right. What about this carbon? That one also has one hydrogen yes. on both of those. Okay, that makes sense. Perfect. And let's go to this carbon. That one has two hydrogen. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see why. So far, nothing, no atoms have moved, so right. we're good. Now let's get to this one, this carbon. That one has one hydrogen on it. Yes. And then this one also has one hydrogen good. on it. What about these center carbons? Okay, that's what I was okay. So this one has the octet, so one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. I'd say yeah, they're the same, right? They're the same. Okay. Yep. They already have a complete octet. Like mm -hmm. you said, there's no hydrogens there. Um, and we didn't move anything. Right. Right? So in that case, because nothing was moved, no atoms were moved. It is a resonance. It is, okay. It is a resonance yes. structure. Okay. That cool. makes sense. So the answer, that. yes. Perfect. Nice. Okay. That's the main thing. Again, we're going to keep going. It's just that mm -hmm. if the atoms moved, it's not. It is not a resonant structure. If just the electrons moving the bonds or any, like, charges, mm. then, yes, the electrons moved. That is a resonant structure. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you like this practice problem and want to try another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire study session, click right here.